Welcome to MSU and You. My name is Stephanie, and today's episode will cover everything from transportation, to sports, to the new vision for parking on campus. We just recently checked out restaurant Villegas, and the owner himself gave us a sample of one of his spectacular dishes. Check it out. Could you tell me what, what are some of maybe your famous dishes that you guys well, darling, you know, at my age, there's so many. Um, there's one, I think, uh, that's that's really popular, that really proves my point of doing contemporary Midwestern cuisine, is my cheese fondue. Traditionally, a cheese fondue just means melted cheese. So, historically, in France, if you're going to make a cheese fondue, you would buy the local cheeses, and then that would be paired with a local white wine. So what I ended up doing was taking the traditional French cheese and pairing that with a local Michigan hard apple cider. So then taking this traditional French dish, realizing the regionality that makes it unique, and then recreating it in Michigan. The best of Europe and the best of Michigan in a bowl. Culinary harmony, what more do you want? Now I look around and I see that you have a very extensive wine collection. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the wine list is, is interesting, and I think one of the things that is really important about what we do on the television show that we, we talk about here as well is people should be proud of where they're from. And we as a culture, and I think people in general anywhere in the world, tend to look at things, if it's from someplace else, it's got to be better. So French wine's got to be better than American wine. California wine's got to be better than Michigan wine. And that's not true. And we want, we want to people to be proud and look at how much stuff we've got here. I mean, it's crazy. Let's go in the kitchen and see one of the famous dishes Mr. Villegas is gonna cook for us. Come on. So now here's the dealio on fondue. This is Michigan hard apple cider. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. So one part of hard apple cider, and then two parts, two parts cheese. This, darling. This is roasted garlic puree. So I've got salt, pepper, nutmeg, and then I've got that beautiful roasted garlic puree. Now since I just turned 21 and I'm always curious, like what wines go with what? What would be good with it? What kind of wine would be good with this? That, my young culinary Jedi, is a very good question. If you're lucky enough to know how the dish is made, you want to drink what's ever in the dish with the dish. So since this was hard apple cider, I would drink a chilled glass of hard apple cider with this dish. That's going to complement the best. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in a serving crock, just like that. And then you just take your bread and you dump it in and go ahead, give yourself a little taste okay. of it, see what you think. Oh. Now this one is a, if, if, uh, this one's a little bit sweet. This is great with bread, especially on a cold day like today. But you can imagine fresh slices of apple, fresh pieces of fruit, even um, dried beef jerky. I love beef jerky. So anyway, this is uh, the cheese fondue with Michigan hard apple cider, French cheese, Michigan savoir together, culinary harmony in the bowl, perfect. It's delicious, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us back here. My pleasure! <laughs> now let's go see Kosi as he practices with the women's ice hockey team to brush up on some of his high school hockey skills. Today we're here at Mon Ice Arena hanging out with the women's ice hockey team at Michigan State University. They're gonna show us while it may be cold outside, Things in there are heating up. You do expect a Messiah. You want to be European. See, I would be a Bonaparte. Don't even care about what Napoleon says. Well, look how the good look of me. Come down, come down. I said, I'm my silver star. Today we have a very special head coach. We have the head coach of the uh, women's ice hockey team at Michigan State University. Coach, can you uh, sum up the year so far? Well, we've had a great year so far. We are 15-1 and one in the league play, the ACHA play, 15-1, and one, and currently ranked third in the nation. And how is their camaraderie on the ice and off the ice? Uh, that's one of the, the, the best surprises that we've had here at Michigan State is that everyone on this year's team and last year's team um, gets along great. They do things together uh, off the ice. Uh, um, they hang out together, um, spending so much time together, you might think that it might uh, get a little difficult at times, but uh, 
we're lucky in that we have uh, some quality individuals and everyone gets along great. And one of the things we talk about was you guys are friends on and off the ice, is that correct? Most of us. I just kind of found like another family, if you will, um, in the hockey team and everyone grew pretty close right away and, and we meshed well and it made it fun. Yeah, amazing. Like it's not just on ice, it's off ice too. Yeah. Catherine picks me up, sometimes I get phone calls and I'm like... I have to wake her up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm here. I personally live with three of the girls on the team so and we lived together last year and we're living together next year so it's not just about playing the sport, like I'm best friends with these girls and you know, I love it. There's that, that element of trust and support that's constantly there. So, you know, whenever there's a concern or a problem, you know you have someone to go to on your team. Thanks for joining us for this episode of MSU and You. Stay classy, East Lansing. Gonna start and just go ahead and do it, and then you can edit it any freaking way you want. Okay, three, two, nine, one, go!